This comes from... Oh, this one actually comes from Mac once again. Thank you again, Mac. Woo. If someone is being a douche rag, mm. and you should confront them... Now, that's not what you wanted to say, Mac. If someone is being <laughs> a douche rag <laughs> at work... Should you confront them or just do the best work you can do? And if you do confront, how do you most effectively end the douche ragness? Oh, wow. Okay. So, douche rag alert up in this Whole Foods that you're working at. You have any of those? All right. I know. You work at the local co op. Mm-hmm. You got some douche rags. Yeah. Clearly, you work at a co op. Right. You work, you're working around all these, these little douche rag pieces, and you see. Ah, they are just the worst. But if you can, none of them can stop talking about their crappy bands Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. their love of tie dye and kombucha. Here's here's a real like when you when you think douche rag, do you think someone that's like very brag about themselves type of deal, or very like like complains about their job type of deal? I think that if I were to come. To compare the bag and the rag, that a bag is just kind of full of hot air, and the rag is just kind of a musty old piece of cloth that doesn't look so great. Like I, I it like a, like kind of a co-op, like kind of your general hipster co-op worker. You know what I'm saying? He kind of smells a little bit like an organic farm. Okay. He, he smells like he, he handpicked everything that is in the produce aisle, and he hand washes all of his clothes out of choice. Yeah. Okay. He has like one of those old like like the wash buckets and the thing that looks like a xylophone that they rub the clothes on. I don't know what that's called. Yeah, yeah. His his glasses, the frames of them are made out of toothpicks. Oh yeah, like that sort of thing. And the the you don't even exactly have he I'm doesn't even have about. lenses. He wears contacts, but he wears the toothpick frame of glasses. Ab- absolutely yes, but he doesn't need the glasses. He just thought they'd be stylish. God, now I now I'm picturing someone that wears contacts and lensless glasses, and I hate this person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he also goes to the girls' section at Old Navy and mm-hmm. buys boyfriend jeans, which oh. were originally created to look like guys' jeans because they're looser on women, but that way they look nice as uh, capris. Oh, interesting yeah. move, dude. All right, uh, Douchrag, what kind of... Uh, what kind Hello, of... Hello, <laughs> Sir Douchrag, I have a question for you. Uh, what kind of... Where do you get off is the question that I've got for you. Um, what's your stop (laughs) this bus ride that we're on what's your stop when are you getting off where's home for you yeah um Um, (laughs) (laughs) we just realized that douche was not going to respond so we both simultaneously (laughs) said um (laughs) waiting for the response (laughs) so so we're wondering do we confront him or do we not confront him because if we don't confront him he's not going to change that's clear he's going to stay a rag for life um, mm. And that is the number four and life with a Y. Well, rag isn't the issue. It's douche that's the issue, right? Oh. You can be a rag. Oh. That's fine. Okay. I think the rag is the descriptor of the type of douche. And in the, in the fact that douchebag is very classic Chad sort of character. You it's a know? very class Chad, yeah. Uh-huh. And, um, <laughs> and that the rag is just sort of that musty, lifeless sort of, you know, ghost of a human sort of person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Makes sense. Um, so if you if you confront this person, if you confront this douche rag, only bad things are going to follow. Because right you now, think? you work around multiple people. Other people have to deal with them, including customers, managers, whatever. Douche rag is going to be douche rag no matter what. You cannot sway douche rag into being less rag or less douche. They will stay oh. douche rag. It is, it is DNA, in case you didn't know. It is... There is, like, you got blue eyes, you got brown hair. Are you a douche rag or not? It's a yes or no on every DNA strand. <laughs> it's like, that's that was a yes. And you cannot change it unless you get into his DNA and shift it. Citizen so, of the U.S., douche rag. Check boxes for all that apply. Yeah, yeah. it's like every every job that you apply, male and female. Are you a vet? Are you disabled? Are you a douche rag? Um, <laughs> are you a felon? Are you a douche rag? <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. The problem that'll occur if you if you go up and try and talk to this douche rag, let alone try and change this douche rag, all of a sudden it's like the movie It Follows. You're cursed. That thing is not leaving your side. This is bad curse. This is bad juju. Um, this is attacking the bad power of juju. Um, now if you <laughs> if you get involved with this, you're gonna follow you everywhere. He's going to ask you if you want to go see um, like this new band that you've never heard of that is not good, but is like playing on a field 
like a grass field and there's like five lawn chairs set up and all they got is like this uniced oh lemonade over on a folding table oh my gosh dude okay okay i i live in a small town mm-hmm. like twenty five thousand people and we have a lot of that here like yeah? this is straight from the memory bank most of everything i'm saying just kind of like you know twisted so that nobody understands it and there are too many people who have asked me to go see bands that they know mm-hmm. that, that they would never be able to say you were talking about me when i say this but that has literally happened to me so many times of people being like oh check out this band they're really good and i show up and they they're dog poop my man like yeah. they could not be worse like it seems oh, i just it's oh bad. it's just it's just so frustrating and then the conversation afterwards that ensues are like so what'd you think what do you say what <laughs> My goodness! I don't know how to. Do you know these people personally? Are you offended if I trash them to town right, right now? Right. And if you lie, if you make the great mistake of lying and say you liked them, guess what? You're getting invited back. The cover charge to get into places to be disappointed is not a good system. Yeah. I want my ten dollars back. That was bad. Yeah. And this is not how this should work. And the only thing I'm getting out of this is a recommendation to buy your songs on vinyl. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay, really, really cool thing, though. I was at a band yesterday, two days ago, that was very good. Ooh. And at the end, they said, hey, if you want, I know I know one of the guys that's in it. You should come see it. They're really good. Cool. Get it? That's a joke. Okay, cool. so <laughs> at the end, they were like, if you want one of our CDs, you can just take one, and if you want to pay us, you can. And I was like, "Wow, that's really cool." They're like semi-popular too. It's just wow. like I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I respected them a whole ton for that. Are they very poor now, or just kind of poor? Like, you know, I'm not sure. It was it was at a, it was at a festival that we have in town here, and so he thought it was a different kind of festival, the main singer, and so everybody was in very normal, you know, Minnesotan clothes, and he was in a beer costume, just like actual like dressed like a beer can. Okay. All right. Yeah. Dressed like and a beer so can. it was just a bunch of you know bearded sort of uh, people wearing what's the man? My words are so good today. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You're on a hot streak. The striped thick shirts. That's a good name of a band. Striped thick shirts. I need a band name. Thank you. Striped thick shirts. What are those? Striped thick shirts. They stripe, are, I think exactly what they are. Thick. Sure. <laughs> I'm Googling this. Google things. I'm so stupid. <laughs> no, this isn't what it is. What's the name of it? Honest to God, Stripe Six Shirts. Lumberjack. Lumberjack shirt. Okay. Lumberjack. That's, no, what's the name? <laughs> I don't know. I have, I'm well, staring at six I of them in my know. closet. <laughs> For, it, it's not... Help me, Zane. Stick with lumberjack shirts. You've come no! so far. What is it? I don't know what a thick striped shirt is. It's not a flannel. Is it a flannel? Plaid. I was thinking that of the word Why? plaid. Why didn't you say the shirts I always wear? You're so right. I'm sorry. This is horrible. That's not even slightly what I thought you were oh. referencing. <laughs> Oh, I'm so <laughs> stupid. Wow. Oh, I'm so stupid. Are you are you proud of yourself? No. <laughs> are you listening to me? Barely. I'm so, I'm so stupid. <laughs> All right. This question comes from and then oh, and Nate oh, I don't even have the power to interrupt you. You just go ahead and do it. What? I don't have the power. I'm lost without Hey. Hey, I lost my power. Just hey, but it's okay. You know what? I'll stop. You my go podcast ahead, juice you go is ahead empty. And do the mid roll. Just do it. No, this is your time to shine, bud. This is your thing. I'm gonna go take a cold shower. You do the mid roll. 